I'd like to show you a little demo project I put together in InDesign to show how In5 works with the DPS overlays panel. The first thing I want to show you is an autoplay slideshow. This slideshow is a multi-state object that consists of six images. The slideshow options on the overlays panel are set to autoplay and to loop. Slideshows that autoplay can be used to create simple animated effects. This is just a looping slideshow that cycles through seven images at a frame rate of eight images per second. An image sequence is just a series of JPEG or ping images that can autoplay at high frame rates and be set to loop endlessly. Because each image can be a ping image, they can have transparent backgrounds as in this example. The rotating sail element was created in Illustrator, extruded, lit, and rotated in After Effects, and then exported as a series of 60 ping images. Image sequences can also be interactive. As I swipe across this image, I can control the sequence with a high degree of precision, fluidly moving from frame to frame. An image sequence gives me much more precise control than trying to scrub through a video element. The DPS Overlays panel features an object called a scrollable frame. Scrollable frames can be used to display a lot of text in a small amount of space. Or they can also be used for interesting pull-out, drawer, or slider effects. DPS's pan and zoom overlay allows the user to swipe in order to pan across a wide image or pinch and zoom to reveal more detail on a high-res image. DPS web overlays allow you to include local HTML, CSS, and JavaScript content within a frame. Each of the three frames at the bottom of this screen contains some code that responds to a tap. When the image is tapped, the card rotates to reveal the backside. Partnering with a developer that can write HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, or finding code snippets on the web, opens up an almost unlimited capability for interactive effects. Web overlay frames can also contain iframe content that's automatically generated by sites such as Google Maps, Twitter, SoundCloud, or other sources. I hope that this demo has inspired you to try creating some interesting interactive effects with InDesign, the DPS Overlays Panel, and N5.